ice cream. The polite guy says we can't get ice cream. He says daddy can't scrap metal and make money anymore, so no more ice creams. What do you guys got to say about that? That that's horrible. That's horrible? He ain't not very nice, is he? He doesn't want daddy to make any money. Yeah, he hates money. Yeah, he don't like money. He likes to just take money and not make money. Plastic chairs. What? Fold them uppers. Friggin' free lamp. What? Lamp ski. Let's see what we got out here this week. There's some water skis. Free couch. Free couch unit. What? Oh, look at all that shit, ladies and gentlemen. Flat screens and everything. We're grabbing that flat screen. What? Garbage picking tour, ladies and gentlemen. They got a half a broken grill right there. Broken grill top. We got to get that. What? Little grill top unit. Look at all that stuff, boys. What? Some metals. What'd the neighbor throw out? Friggin' microwave and shot. Grabbing that, all kinds of stuff. Oh, he's doing a little packing. Doing a little bit of packing. Get off there, you son of a bitch. Look what they threw out, little fan unit. Little fan. Last time we come through here, we found a flat screen. What do they got there, a little recliner action? recliner action she's a little beat boys check it out ladies and gentlemen John Picker receives blight notice number two holy shit man guy come here yesterday I had somebody watching my house he's telling all my business telling all my business to the person watching my house she told him to get that body here get off the fucking property she says what? <laughs> Light notice number two, he said something like he was here three years ago or he wrote a notice three years ago. Three years is a pretty long time, it's not like it's a nuisance thing. Anyways, blight notice number two, that's it. I don't know, I gotta call the guy today and find out what the deal is. He must not like the junk around the picker compound. Well, we just went garbage picking and picked up some more, ladies and gentlemen. We might as well go through that together. We'll go through that together today see what we got might as well eh let's check out all the shit I got today paper shredder bunch of freaking wires <laughs> coaxles laptop chargers stupid freaking tent stupid old tent Another paper shredder. This shit. Oh, we got some cell phone actions. What? Blackberries. Two cell phones. They are just going through the shit at their house. What? Lights. That's some kind of electric wrench. Skill too. Boy, guy's trying to stop me from garbage picking, ladies and gentlemen. He don't like that kind. He does not like that kind. Check this out, guys. I even got a calendar Ronald Reagan on it for 2018. What? 2018 calendar. 2018 ain't even over for a couple more months. Got a bucket, some Sharpies. And a flat screen TV in the house. Let's go check that out. Oh, the B light just don't end around the picker compound, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get rid of this shit now. I just got it. Now I gotta get rid of it. Unbelievable. Stinger for sale. Hey guys, Scrapyard 2018. Look at this scrap pile. What? Everybody must be getting polite notices. B 
be light time, ladies and gentlemen. Load number one's out. Time to load up load number two, which is going to be this gas dryer I just picked up last week. Shit that I just picked up, so you're not even allowed to keep stuff for a week, I guess. What? The light time, ladies and gentlemen. I got to load all this shit up. Scrapyard's going to close soon. I slept half the freaking day. Little Johnny was sleeping. Little Johnny was taking a nap ski. What happens when you work all week long? We work all week long building stuff for the guy that come here and wrote the, the light notice to come go and inspect. What? Some building, dude. Gotta get this shit loaded up. Be light scrapping load number two, ladies and gentlemen. Finally got rid of all them friggin' microwaves. Holy shit, that was a chore for me and the old pickaxe. Got everything loaded up on the picker mobile. She's looking beautiful. Looking friggin' beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. What? Big ass load of scrap models today. Off to the scrapyard. Light scrapping load number three. I got a little bit of shit left. I need to load up into the truck. A little bit of shit left. That's going to be a whole load of aluminum, I have a feeling. We got to get the rest of this crap loaded up before the B-Light guy comes back. He wasn't too happy last time. What? Catch back in with you when the truck's loaded up. Oh, yeah. Shut these cats out. Alright YouTubers, Belight load number three. What? Three loads of shit. Got all this stuff left. I was actually buying scrap metals, ladies and gentlemen. 75 cents for the little smoker. It's all aluminums. I bet I can get more than 75 cents for it. But I'm not allowed to do that anymore. No more garage sailing for John the Picker. It's like, uh government control around the picker hood ladies and gentlemen you can't scrap you can't do nothing what i can't work and scrap at the same time because i got too many barbecue grills in my backyard obviously and too much aluminums they do not like when you hoard the aluminums holy shit man yep i'll catch back in with you when we get to the scrap yard oh yeah all that shit grills bikes I was gonna save one of them bikes for my kid, but might as well scrap it now. I'd hate to hate to get a fine for keeping shit shit around my yard. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be light scrapping load number four. Truck is empty. Got to load it up with the rest of this shit. Them grills right there. Um, whatever else I can pick up out of here, probably some cast aluminum maybe, no clue. Look, I even got some gold and silver on my adventure. What? Gold and silver. Fold all the key pads out. Oh yeah, time to get scrapping. Gotta load this truck up. Scrapping metal load number four, ladies and gentlemen. The fourth load I'm taking in today. What? I got some cast aluminum grill tops on there and everything else. Cast aluminum in the back of the truck with a little bit of copper pipage. Let's see what we get for this load. 
scrapping it up in the picker hood. Hey, what do you think about not making any money for scrap metals? That's so mad. You're mad now? Yeah. You don't like the polite guy, do you? Me either. I like money. You like money? Yeah, me too. And daddy can't make money if you can't collect scrap. Look at that piece of polite. What? Garage sales in the picker hood, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. Start shabbing. Old grad sale. Holy shit, ski. All kinds of stuff. Couches and furniture and whatnot. Check out the grad sale action, ladies and gentlemen. What? Scored up big times. On to the next one. Fast Cat 351. That's a Ford Boys 351. I have no clue. Scrap and be light load number five. What? Got a bunch of freaking aluminums loaded up. Extruded, which would be the window frames and shit there. Cast, which is the grill tops. Sheet aluminum. Sheet aluminum, extrude it, and cast. Let's see what we get for this crap. Shots out to Fast Cat 351. I hope that's a Ford. Who knows? What? Got to get up to the scrap here and scrap this shit. I was at the public land auctions. I could have had, could have had my house for freaking. Could have had my new house, but I was seven hundred dollars short, ladies and gentlemen. They didn't even auction it. Nobody even wanted what I wanted. Seven hundred dollars short of getting what I wanted. Shit, we got to do more saving. Bunch of properties up for auction. Almost brought my village mansion, ladies and gentlemen. I was seven hundred dollars short. Almost had enough money. I've been saving. I've been saving. What? I wanted that house. Shit. I've been saving my money to go to this land auction, try to get a house at seven hundred dollars short. Maybe next time. Shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, B light scrapping with John the Picker. All the money I freaking got from scrapping my B light, my garbage, my junk. A little information about the B light notice. It was written back in 1998 before we even had a scrap yard. So of course people had semi loads of scrap in their yard. No wonder why they're writing them B light notices. I'm sure they don't do it very much nowadays because we got a scrap yard in town. People could just take the metal rate across town and sell it for big monies but yep be light notice is what John the picker got if you ask me you should have been down there right and be light notices to the buildings with trees sticking out of them and uh, broken glass all over our bike path and maybe to the people in charge of the lights down there that all the little things are missing off them wires are exposed and everything unbelievable what I got from scrapping my be light subscribe to John the picker I'm going to be doing more scrap and I ain't going to let this little wiener scare me. What? We are not going to let the Be Light people scare us. If you go and ask the people that signed for the Be Light notice, they probably wouldn't even know what scrap metal was, ladies and gentlemen. Probably never scrapped a day in their life. Trust me, I know them. Some of them actually brought strawberries off me. Signing Be Light notice is 98. What? Holy shit, man. Yep, we had some cast aluminum, 25 cents a pound for that. Copper number one's going for $2 a pound. Metal's going for $120 a ton. What? Metal's going for $120 a ton. It was $140. Went down a little bit. I had aluminum 6063 series, which is uh, my cast aluminum, I think. Nope, that was my extruded, extruded aluminum window frames and shit. The cast and sh I sold with aluminum sheet, 25 cents a pound. I had 280 pounds of that. What, 70 bucks? The other day I took in 101 pounds of cast, $25. I'll show you what cast is going for. 
sheets going for the same price. That's why we wrote it up as the same. I'm John the Picker. I'm out. Watch for more scrapping videos, boys. Show you what my yard looks like. The Belight guy is going to shoot himself. I just had thousands of pounds of scrap metal and it's been gone in two days. What? A couple hours. I made a couple hundred dollars. I don't know what he made coming here and bothering me. I gotta get me a privacy fence. You guys should not stick your nose in other people's yards. Holy shit, man. Copper wire. We're gonna hoard that, boys. Ain't gonna be able to say shit about that. I'm gonna put a lid on it. They ain't even gonna know what's in there. They're gonna think it's my garbage. Whoosh. Gotta trick them. Let's go around to the backyard and see what I got back there. Truck is freaking empty. We need to fill that beast up, boys. But the problem is, we're running out of freaking scrap metals. I got some computer parts and shit right there, but that ain't gonna get me about 20 freaking cents. Me a freaking dumpster. Shots out to the dumpster people. Dynamics. They got pretty cheap rates. Pretty cheap rates on the dumpsters. I need to clean all that shit up before I was busting my stuff up. I rake it all up. Tin. That's how much tin I got left along with a few ceiling fans. I got a radiator, some steel over there, Christmas tree lights I didn't take in yet, cast friggin' uh, grill ski. That door's all aluminum, I need to rip that apart. Got one more door right here that I need to rip apart. Shit, another garden hose. What? We're definitely getting be lit for that. And we got another, another friggin' garbage can full of wire I can't even move it it's so heavy so heavy you can't even move it I got a few lawnmowers for the hoard and some shit right there capper we got some capper boys yep I had to get all the shit out of here and I got some spare tires over there I was gonna keep those for my truck shit you can't keep nothing around here I got to get me some privacy fence bottom freaking line privacy fence these people are gonna stick their nose in somebody else's business boys what big ass grill I'm out be light scrapping 2018 down the picker got a little bit of shit left electric motors